Hi, my crafty friends. This is Gina. Today, I am um, laminating some specimens. We'll put it to you that way. Specimens for my plant slides I'm going to do. And what I have, I went and picked some... These are... Um, these are called uh, woodland ferns. They grow wild out here in my backyard. So, my back 40 really. So, <laughs> yeah, I had wanted some of these for laminine um, for my specimens. So, what we're going to do is we're going to cut. Let's see, I think I'm going to do, and I'm also going to use them in my, um, <coughs> my, um, resins. I don't want to put it in like this because they will, the resins, some when it, you pour it it's kind of warm and they'll turn black so yeah that's what i am doing today some girl asked me do you stand up <laughs> most most of the time i do when i do my videos but <coughs> when I went to go get these, y'all, I got a, like a poke in them. Because they're real pokey. And, um. There, you know, this part right here, that's what poked me. Right in here. <laughs> So these are good for your journals, your resins, and yeah. My son called me up earlier, an hour ago. Mom. Are you coming to Austin for the Harry Style concert? I said, yes, I am. I already got my tickets. What? He goes, how many did you get? I go, I got two. Um, you already got the tickets? Yes. And it, and it says in the footnotes that you have to have an Android or an iPhone because... I, I thought I was going to print the ticket out. And. Now you have to have it on your phone. Stating you bought the ticket. This will be my last concert. That I'll ever go. I really like to go see Pink. But. I don't think she's doing any more concerts for a while because she's raising her little girl <coughs> I think I want to leave that kind of long you know that's pretty just even for a bookmarker you know Huh. 
I've got a lot. Okay, let's go ahead and put some of these in this laminator sheet. That way. I don't know how... Man, my allergies were acting up, man. <laughs> I was out early this morning watering my flowers. I mean, early. It's going to be 100 degrees today here in East Texas, y'all. 100. That's hot. You want to get these kind of separated to where you can cut them so I guess I'm going to go down with this one and maybe go like that Yeah, my, my, uh, other half. No, that's too big. <laughs> Started to mow yesterday. He goes, babe. And I go, what? You got to come out here quick. I'm like, gosh. Well, here I am. Trying to. get stuff done now I just trying to press it down to where they'll lay and now I'm gonna take it to my laminator which is over there <laughs> And what I'm going to go ahead and do is go ahead and laminate the rest of these because I have these yet <laughs> woodland ferns. But I'm going to go ahead and do these so I can have them. That way I don't have to worry about them. Because the next ones I'm going to go ahead and my uh, daylilies are already blooming. So I'm going to clip some more out in the back 40. So I could have some flowers in the house mixed in with some roses. And after I laminate it once, y'all, I'm going to turn it around and do it again. I just do that. hope y'all are doing all right this is going to be pre-recorded y'all so this is my sunday so this will probably go on tuesday because during the week it's kind of hard because i've been doing 10 hours of shifts monday through thursday so we have all friday saturday and sunday <coughs> 
Yeah, even the work for the school, I'm a 12 month worker, so. We have to work. And when you're cutting these, y'all, keep in mind you don't want to break the seals. That's kind of close. That one's really close. You see that? That's really close. That one is too. <laughs> so what I'll do is just kind of be careful. And I'll just cut each, each one out. You don't want to cut that seal open after you laminated it. And what I do, y'all, I'll show you here in a minute. Let me go ahead and get this. If you could... Let me see. I'm trying to find something black. Here, I'll use this. Can you see that seal there? And it's around that and this. I don't know if that's showing up very good, y'all. I don't have a black card with me. But you don't want to cut into that. See how that's not cut in? Barely missed it. You see that? I didn't cut the seal. And what I'm going to do with these, since these are going to go in some of my resins, I'm going to go along that seal. Kind of like a sticker, you know what I'm saying? I just don't understand why. I live in the country and I know the cows are over there in the other pasture in the back. And these flies, I don't understand. I got that thing on the back porch. And it really stinks. So I have to. <laughs> there's my honey. Did I tell you it's hot outside? It's really hot outside. And there you have it. That's ready to go in a in a resin or anything. So make a little specimens. He's, let me shut my door. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he's talking to his buddy. Yeah, I was. He was talking about Caddo Lake last year on vacation. We went over there to um, this place. It's a lake. And it has a lot of marsh. I wanted to go see the crocodiles, the alligators. And since they had that flood, I guess, last year. Or no, it was the year before. I'm sorry. Two years in a row, they got flooded out. And, you know, the cabins are on stilts and stuff, but... Uh, still um almost went in that seal there 
and uh, the they said the water was up almost to the cabins look there's another one and that's all you got to do y'all and I'm gonna use these in my specimen um, what do you call them specimens and in my resins And I think these are pretty cool. Once you get them all done, you know. And they'll look really pretty, especially in the resins. You know. Or even a specimen. Um, I'm going to make this one bigger because I'm going to outline the thing. And make the specimen bigger. So it would be real pretty. And then I'm going to not... Uh, this is uh, the... What do you call it? The vellum I used in my stamp. Oh, I forgot all about my little moth, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and do that now that I have it on my mind. Oh. Uh, I found this moth I was coming out of Walmart and it was on the ground you know he was already passed away but he was blue y'all I guess he changed color you know he was blue he changed color that's why I liked it, because he was blue. But I'm still going to put him in the, in the thing. Now that I laminate today. Okay, and that's my shearing for today, y'all. You have a blessed day. Take it easy and stay cool. Because out here in East Texas, I live 30 miles from Dallas. <laughs> and then I live like 20 miles from Tyler, Texas. And it's hot out there. I don't want any part of that. You know what I mean? And they go, don't you have a pool? Yes, but it's already getting warm. And I don't like it when it's already getting warm because what he'll do is go ahead and drain it. Not all of it, most of it. And um, keep it cool. I need some more fountains. That's what he told me. I need fountains. That way the, the water and the will stay clean. Uh, what do you say? Acclimated? Is that what he said? I can't remember. You know. So I'm kind of like maybe next year. Those fountains are expensive because I just bought one from that sucker was not cheap. I'm saying not cheap. And that was just to go for the, what do you call it, the pond. To keep it aerated, you know. And, yeah, all that. <laughs> Anyways, for all my new subscribers, welcome. And all my returning subscribers, I hope y'all have a great day. <laughs> and, uh, I can't talk and cut at the same time. Yes, I can. <coughs> y'all give this a try if you have a laminator. You know, I got a cheap little Scots from Walmart. 
and it was only like 20 bucks so you know you know what I'm gonna do is kind of go like this with this because it is kind of you know uh, so hot y'all have to excuse my old man back there in the background because his shop is so hot. Uh, it's hot in our school because they only have so many air conditioners going through. You know? And it's hot. Okay, y'all. You have a great day. Bye. Thanks for stopping by.